What is up, my fellow net dwellers? Couch Command here, the teddy bear who teaches you how to mod different games. Today, we're taking a look at Forager obtained via Game Pass. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Let's go ahead and start this off how we always do. We're going to install the game. And just like always, I've already played the game quite a bit, hence the shorts, all that stuff. So once this is downloaded, don't be surprised if I already have a save file. I honestly don't know if this deletes the save file or not whenever I uninstall it. I kind of just uninstalled because, you know, it was only like a five hour game so far. So I wonder if there's a way to check on here or how much time I put in. Let's just waste a little time here. Review. No. Details. No. Oh, that's too bad. I was kind of hoping to have my hours I played. Oh, well. Anyways, the bright side of this one is it's actually a really fast download because I'm not having to speed this up at all. It's a relatively small game, I'm guessing. Anyways, as far as modding this goes, we're not actually going to need to do our normal routine of going to manage, browse, all that jazz, right? Because that doesn't matter. Not for this one, at least. Because we actually mod this in a completely different location. Evil Ara-chan over on Reddit figured out forever ago. So credit goes to them. Three years ago, they figured out that you can utilize your app data location, local packages, humble bundle, blah, 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 to actually get to the game file. So if we actually go percent app data, percent. Now, always remember percent app data percent. It's just a fast way to open it. it takes you right to your roaming app data. We don't need roaming though. We need local. So we're going to go back local. And then we're going to be looking for packages. Packages. Uh, where are you? There it is. And we're going to look for a humble bundle, right? I think it was. Yep. So it's all alphabetical. Humble bundle, forager. Okay. Then in here, we're going to go ahead and go into local state. And there's no mods folder currently. But we're gonna go ahead and just add one folder. Mods, okay. So that's it as far as actually getting the mod folder ready and our location we're gonna be modding. For mods, we're gonna go ahead and use Fast Crafting by Zami. And one or equal to one bar by Void Baroness. Now to actually be able to get these mods, obviously we can't subscribe. We don't own the Steam game. Not much we can do there. However, we're gonna need these routes up here for the URI because there are still workshop downloaders out there even though, you know, they kind of got copyright, 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 copy whatever struck forever ago. And the primary ones got banned. You obviously, instead of doing workshop downloader, could just ask your friend who owns the game on Steam to get the mods for you. They just navigate to their Steam location, copy the same file, give it over to you. You'd be good to go. But I'm going to be using Steam Workshop Downloader. Oop. That's actually the old one. This is the one that's no longer available, sadly. This one is available. However, not secured, might be sketch, run your risks. Uh, you know, the whole spiel about be careful what you download on the internet and all that. Basically, mod at your own risk. But if we come in here, we're going to go ahead and snag the URI. Go over to this one. Paste it. Download. Download from Steam Client. And zip. We got one. Going to go ahead and do the same thing with the other one. Boop, 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 boop and download and zip. Again, I make no promises about these files. There's no guarantee of security on this one. I have done very minimal research. So your best bet for getting these is ask your friend who owns the game to just download them for you. Download them, zip them, send them across Discord, whatever. This is a risk. Anyways, now that we got that, go ahead and open up my downloads location and here's our two mods so all we're going to do is go into it go ahead and go into our mods folder here and we're just going to click and drag right so click drag 
Go back to downloads. Same thing with the next one. Click drag. All right, and just like that, Forager should be modded. So let's go ahead and click play. Move this over to the appropriate window. And go ahead and pick keyboard and mouse. The answer is uninstalling and reinstalling the game does delete your save. So if you're going to do that, back up your save with this one, guys. Just be aware. Anyway, so we're going to just go into modding. We're going to turn on fast crafting and or makes one bar compile. Mods are enabled. Let's go ahead and play. Create a new save. We only have classic available because brand new. So let's go ahead and play. And you're going to have to bear with me as I try to get to the point where I can actually build stuff. So this will probably be double time, triple time, who knows how much time, but... I really need to just get a forge to validate. Because the mod should be really quick and easy to do once that is done. But it's getting to the point where I have that forge... ...is going to take a second. Wonder if I can get it out my wonder if I can actually get it on my first level. I've only played the game well, I've only had one save on the game, so I've only done the start once. I can tell you that little spot there means there's something stashed under the ground. And if you dig it up, you'll be happy. But I honestly can't remember if I can actually just get a forge off the start. I'm really hoping I can. Oh, what do you know? I can build a furnace right off the start anyways. I don't need to level up at all. Well, that makes life easy. So we need some coal real quick to be able to smelt anything. And there you can tell fast crafting's already working because that is dang near instantaneous. Also, I have noticed that with fast crafting, kind of all the stuff just crafts at the same rate. And one ore to one ingot is definitely in place. So there we go. Forager has been successfully modded for Game Pass. This is Catch Command. You guys all have a good night, a great tomorrow, and amazing rest of the week. I'll see you next time.